Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. How are you guys doing? I am doing great, because I am excited about what we're doing today. It's going to be a fun one, guys. So, for those of you that have been watching Doc M and his adventures here on the Hermitcraft server, will already know by now that he's issued a challenge to the Redstoners here on the server, and the challenge is to create a killing machine. Not just any special killing machine, it, we need to have one that actually drops his skull. Uh, so, if you don't know what I mean by that, so we got this deal here on the server where if a player kills another player, their heads will drop. And you can see Tango and I... I hear a skelly. <laughs> uh, Tango and I went ahead and just slaughtered each other, uh, took out some frustration on each other after uh, my live stream crashed on me the other night. But uh, we, we went ahead and killed each other after the live stream was over just to make sure the skulls were going to drop. And we need to basically create a machine so that Doc M, his skull will drop. And, and you can't just, the machine can't kill him. We actually have to kill him. Like I said, you got a player has to kill a player. So basically the idea is to get him down to like a one hit kill. And he said that he, he'll be willing to just step into the machine and press whatever buttons he needs to press and go in with armor, go in without armor, whatever we need him to do. And, and that's what... I'm going to be planning on building today. I want to make something that's basically, he's going to get into a, a minecart and he's going to go for a little ride. And it's not going to be a pleasant one. <laughs> and so, yeah, so finally we'll be able to get Doc M's skull here. Um, obviously, we need it in here because he was the winner of UHC 7. If you haven't seen that already, sorry for the spoiler. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, him and Cleo won UHC 7. And so, yeah, we need to get their, to get their skulls. So, anyway, that's what I'm going to be working on today. There's a few things i got to do. Uh, I need to get some supplies together. And also, I need to pick a spot for it. And those of you wondering, I no, I haven't finished my ceiling yet in here. Probably, I know I said I was probably going to do it next episode, but then uh, the, the opportunity to make a killing machine for Doc Am just, I can't pass it up, guys. I got to do it. I got to do it. So let's see. Um, I'm not really going to build this out of anything fancy. I just need, why do I have a chest with <laughs> an iron block yet? There's no iron blocks. All right. Uh, yeah, I gotta organize this place. I know it's killing me, guys. I know, I know it's killing you too. I can tell. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some of these, couple hoppers. I need a lot of iron, actually. Uh, maybe a couple levers just for some testing that I might be doing. I don't need that. Yep, just adding to the the chaos, which is my storage room. I know that. Ooh, I will need. Did I see blaze rods? Where did I see them at? I need some blaze rods um, and some coal. And I'll need gunpowder, too, so I might have to stop at the witch farm. Uh, more iron. Yeah, I'm going to build it mostly out of iron. What can I say? Can't help myself. Uh, I'll need mine cards. I guess I'll just wait to craft those when I'm there. I'll need some wood for random bobs and bits. And what else? What else? Do I got enough track? I do. Slime blocks. I'll have to make some more sticky pistons unless I can find some. Let's look. Let's look. Uh, more random stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's killing me. It's killing me. Ah, oh, I just need to get some time and just come in here and take care of this mess, I know. Alright, so I'm going to finish gathering what I need, and then I'll go scout for an area to build this thing in, and I will see you there. Alright, I think I finally picked out an area. It took me a while. I, I literally wandered around the server for about an hour or so, just looking for a good spot. And I finally ended up over here. What I'm going to do is just clear out some of these trees. I wanted a place that was fairly flat so I could build this and people can kind of stand next to it and watch. And uh, that's hard to find here in Amplified. Uh, trust me, trust me, I've been doing a lot of wandering and, and yeah, I ended up here. And if you don't know where I'm at, let me just turn around, you can see. I'm just off the corner of the Quad Witch Hut area, the Quad Witch Farm area. So there's the center of it. That's the one Azuma built. Mine's on the other corner, you can't even see it from here. The one Tango built, and I'm standing on top of Mumbo. So I'm in kind of Mumbo's corner here. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of go into this area over here. And and find a nice little spot here. Oop, can't get up. There we go. And I think I'll just do, I'll just cut down some of these trees and then maybe do a little bit of terraforming. I got a couple axes here. Uh, so this shouldn't take me too long. But I think, yeah, I'm just going to clear this out and flatten it a little bit. And I think that will work. I don't need a huge area for what I'm building. 
So I also think I need to throw down all the stuff I'm carrying. So yeah, let me get cleaning up a little bit here. And then when I get that done, I'll come back and I'll go over kind of the design of this killing machine with you. So I will see you in a second. All right, there we go. Much better, flattened out, cleared out. And it is about time I actually explain what we're gonna be doing with this killing machine. So as you can see, I've already started to lay down some of the, uh, the rails here because we're gonna be sending Doc on a little ride, a little joy ride on a minecart. Uh, where I don't think there will actually be too much joy happening. <laughs> and what's going to be odd about this ride is it's not just going to kill him. It's not just going to, I'm not just going to put him on a ride and have him like go straight to his death. I'm actually going to fake him out a little bit. I want him to believe he's going to die. But obviously I can't kill him because... I have to kill him. You know, that's how the whole head dropping thing works. I have to deliver the final blow. But I want him to think he's going to die by other means. And so I'm going to have a series of different things happen during this ride. And basically, just so the hermits can kind of stand back and watch, I'm going to send him upwards. So he's going to go across here, and he's going to get bounced up to the next layer. He's going to go across that, get bounced up to the next layer, and then he's going to go across that. And eventually, enough failed attempts of killing him are going to happen that uh, he will be hurting just a little bit. Just a little bit. And at the end of that whole mess... I'm just going to slaughter him with the sword. <laughs> so it's going to be kind of funny. But he should actually be down to a one-hit kill. So, I, I mean, I literally could use a wooden sword. Maybe I will, just to prove it. But we'll see. All right, so for the first layer, the idea that I had was to use these guys. Fire charges. Now, of course, testing in a creative world on single, single player uh, all worked out fine and good. On the server, we could be dealing with some kind of server lag issues. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm thinking here, we'll just get them started, and then we'll put we'll put these guys in here just like that. Oh, I'm going to need... There we go. And I'll just put these kind of like at head level. So he's going to be in the cart here, and this will be at head level. And then we'll just do, you know, we'll just do a couple of them here. We'll just throw down, you know, repeater, block, repeater, block, repeater, block, that kind of thing over and over again. And how many, how many can we fit? I think we can fit about six in. Should be good. And we'll have six fire charges kind of go off one after another, you can see. And I think I might need to bring down the timing because the cart's not going to be going that fast. So we'll do it like that. All right, let me load these up here. And I'll just put a couple in each one just so we can test here. And yeah, and then I'll jump on the mine cart and we'll see. Oh, now I'm picking up the dirt. Awesome. <laughs> And we'll see if it if it kills me. <laughs> that's that's the one thing I'm really concerned about is me killing myself and just trying to make this thing and test it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Oh 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 oh! Whoa, that it looks so. Oh, I'm gonna burn stuff down. <laughs> I should probably put up a wall. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's a bad idea. I'm going to burn this place down. <laughs> All right, let's do some clean up here. I don't really mind if it if this place burns down actually. Um we don't we don't really need these trees around here anyway, but uh, I should probably do something about that. We're going to have a little little fire spread going. Oh. Funny. I didn't I actually didn't think they would travel that far. I mean, look at how far they went. All right, so we'll do that. Um, maybe I'll put up a little retaining wall behind here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, so they shouldn't go any higher than where they're at here. And we'll put up just like a, a little two block retaining wall. Hopefully that keeps them from flying over there and <laughs> starting the server on fire. Oh, that, oh yeah, <laughs> that's definitely good. All right. So here's like the little wall that we can all stand in front of. Um, and maybe some hermits will get, get killed in the process. All right, so it seemed to me like they were a little bit ahead of where I wanted to be, so maybe I'll take one of these repeaters out and uh, just switch it with redstone. That way it, it's a little bit closer to his face because they go off. That is so crazy. Uh-oh. Whoa, they actually, did you see that? It like went up and over the wall. Wow, okay, we should... <laughs> I'm going to let it burn. I'm going to let it burn. It should be okay. <laughs> but I'll build this wall up, actually, two more blocks. That'd probably be a good idea. Let's do this. Oh, man. 
That's so funny. We're gonna need we're gonna need a fire department called out during the, during the testing of this. Oh, uh, all right. Hopefully another too high will do, and then we'll be we'll be safe. I don't think. I mean, yeah, you can see that it doesn't fire doesn't spread that far anyway. But uh, yeah, good to have, good to have. Okay, so that still felt like, and I think it's just server lag. Still felt like it was taking a little too long. So we'll do one more, and hopefully this doesn't kill me. Here we go. And it just occurred to me, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm going in the wrong direction with this. Uh, yeah, that's real smart. I actually wanted to make it happen uh, later. I wanted to add delay. I was taking delay away. So instead, we'll just we'll throw another repeater on. I know I could actually here. Let's do this. We'll save on some repeaters because I'm gonna need them. So we'll just do this. Flip those to that, and that should be better. All right. Let's see if that works. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, <laughs> that, that did it. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be one of those episodes, guys, because getting the uh, the timings of server lag correct is going to be difficult. And I think that was my last fire charge. Yeah, it was. All right. Oh, man. I don't want to use too many of these for testing um, because I need to... Uh, I guess I could make more before he actually tries it out. But, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I put three in that last one, didn't I? All right. Well, let me fill these back up, and we'll give this another shot. All right. Got them all filled back up. Here we go. Let's see if... If this timing works a little bit better and doesn't catch me on fire. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> nope. Oh, I see. I don't want to cause him any damage is the thing. So we are going to have to bring down that delay. Maybe there. Maybe there. We'll try it one more time. At least I'm not dying. I got I got fire protection on something. Uh, where? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Uh, hmm. I guess I don't have fire protection. Here we go. Oh, that is trippy. Okay, perfect, perfect. Didn't kill me, and good, good. So like I was saying, the next part of this is we need to bounce him up. <laughs> oh, jeez. Any hermits watching are going to get flamed. It's going to be amazing. All right, so we're going to bounce him up and bring him onto the next level here. And the way we're going to do that is by using a little minecart launcher that, uh, you know, it's funny, I... I just got done watching Mumbo's video and I had already decided to do this and it looks like he used the same thing. It's a little little minecart launcher. Um, he His is a loop-de-loop. -loop. Um, basically, it's the same same exact design here. It is Mumbo's design, of course. Um, but I'm going to use it just to launch him up to the next level. And so we're going to do that by getting a little bit of redstone. Going to need a piston. Let's see. Uh, how far does the piston go back? I think, let me put some redstone down and then I'll kind of know, I think. I think it goes one, two into a repeater on four tick delay, if I remember properly. And then there'll be uh, a piston in the ground here with a slime block on top. That's why I removed those blocks there. And we'll do that and put the slime block on it, and that will fire that piston. And then we also need to carry that signal up to another layer here. And that goes there with another repeater right there, also on four. Oops. And that should do that. Okay. And then this is going to basically torch tower up and put a block on top of that. I should have brought like a beacon out here so I could get a little bit of a little bit of jump boost so I could get on top of these guys a little easier. But we'll do that. Um, and then I can't remember. I think it goes off to the side, or maybe there's maybe there's one more. We'll see. And then it goes off to the side, maybe. And block. Yeah, this looks right. And dust there, block behind that. It's gonna power that. And then we get a sticky piston right there and a slime block right there and that should power that just in in the right amount of time to land up on top of let's see one two three four five blocks up seems about right uh, i don't know if i need to i might need to go back a little bit this might be too too close but we'll come back we'll come back one it's not going to matter as long as he lands on it all right so i actually want to uh, I got one left. Uh, um, all right, I'll use them. I'll just make more later. It, it's more fun to test it live. Here we go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's so cool. And we should get bounced. Nice. And we land up here. 
Perfect, okay. So that's it for the first layer. And now if we step back, you can see I'll be able to get him up just a little bit higher. And now for the next layer, I wanna do something pretty cool. Uh, but I don't wanna build that on camera. I mean, the, just building that little simple thing took way longer than I thought it was gonna going to on camera. So let me build the next stage off camera and then I'll just show you how it works. So I will be right back. All right, here we are. Second layer is now done. You can see I've got another rail going across here into another launch, which is gonna go up to the third layer. Uh, but you probably noticed back behind there is some anvil stacked up. And that is because what I wanna do is actually launch an anvil at him. And I've never seen this done before. It might, I'm sure somebody's done it, but basically using slime blocks to launch an anvil, and I wanted to just barely clear the track there right in front of his face so that it looks like he's gonna die from an anvil, and he doesn't. So all I did to do that is basically take the same signal that this detector rail's given out, and I bring it over here, along here, add some delay, because it's gonna take some time for him to get up there, bring it into this mono-stable circuit right there, add a two tick onto that, and uh, invert that signal. And so you can see I got a sticky piston slime block, and I got just a whole tower of anvils, because I'm gonna be testing this, of course. And basically what that does, that mono-stable makes it so this thing retracts and then spits back, so that only one anvil has time to fall. And then because it's falling, it will actually allow it to get pushed. And when it gets pushed, it's gonna come down into this one. After a bit of delay there, I go ahead and launch that guy up and it goes over the track. So, doo -doo -doo, let's go check it out. And let's see if this thing works. All the, uh, I took all the fire charges out or I used them up actually. So no fire charges for the next couple rounds of testing, but uh, we'll see how this goes. You hear some fire charges go off or what should have been and anvil, ooh, okay. So it was, it was a little, ooh, 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 and that didn't work. That didn't work. <laughs> I need to figure out what exactly went wrong here. That should have launched me up. So I uh, need to take a look at that too because it didn't get launched up from that guy. But okay, no problem. We need to see exactly what's going on with the anvil first. So it was a little late. I wanna make sure I got it right this time. I was coming across here, it was behind me. So I'd like for it to go off a little sooner than that. So let's see, maybe this guy, yeah. That should work. Take away delay on that, and hopefully that will help. Now, as far as why I didn't get launched here, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Did I do the redstone properly under this? Let's take a peek here. So we got our detector rail right there, and then that redstone signal should carry over into... Oh, there we go. Hopefully that was it. Needed to add some delay to those repeaters. Okay. Okay. Now let's try this guy again and see if we get an anvil in our face. That would be great. I love hearing those those dispensers go off. Oh, 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 yes, yes, that was so close. And nice, land up here on the third layer. Okay, so that was, oh, look at it, it's all damaged now. That was close, that was close. I think I might actually want it to come in front of us still a little more. Um... So we'll do that one. All right, one more test run, guys. I know this has taken up a lot of time to do all these test runs, um, but let's do one more just to see, just to see how it looks. And then I'll get started on the third layer. Here we go, bounce you up. Anvil coming. Oh, look at that. It just barely, barely went past me. Okay, great, perfect. All right, guys, this is fun. This is so much fun. All right. I'll get those back. Uh, I guess I'll stack them up again uh, if I run out. But uh, yeah, I'll build the third layer up. And I think, unfortunately, all I'm gonna do is three layers. Uh, and it's just because this is taking a lot longer than I anticipated. So I got an idea for the third layer that's gonna be pretty fun. Uh, so let me go build that up real quick and I'll show you when I get back. All right, we are back and the third layer is done. And it doesn't look like much, but the third layer is actually the most devastating one, because this is where we're finally gonna deal Doc some damage. And the way we're gonna do that is with our good old friend, TNT. <laughs> uh, so you can probably see here that I got a little torch tower running up and <laughs> I got a little stack jump pillar here that I've been using. Let's see, I gotta do, I gotta do another one now. And we'll just jump up on up here. I gotta take this down, of course, clean it up afterwards. And this tower goes up here. This is that same signal that we generate below off the first boost there, the first jump, comes all the way up here and then comes across to here. 
into, I don't want to step on this pressure plate, because the pressure plates are just there to hold the water back, and you can see, <laughs> you can see I've tested this, oh, careful, <laughs> I've tested this, and uh, yeah, floating minecart, you can probably guess what happened, um, inside this dispenser, TNT, so, the signal's going to come across here, hit that block, TNT is going to come out of that, ignite itself, and because we have it in water here, nothing's going to get destroyed. But about the time the TNT blows up, Doc's going to be arriving. Right about, I don't know, right about there. <laughs> and it's going to blow him off right off the track. But it's not going to kill him. It's not going to kill him because remember, I have to kill him. It's going to blow him off the track and instead he's going to land right there right in the center of those four slime blocks, which is where I'll be waiting <laughs> to slicey slice. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's let's go test it ourselves. We have to, right? We have to test it ourselves. I gotta make sure that it's not gonna accidentally kill him. I have to be the one to kill him, not my machine. Oh, I'm a little nervous about this because I haven't done this yet. Oh, I need a minecart. I haven't done this yet. I haven't tested to see if it's gonna work. Okay, I got full hearts. Here's the requirements. No armor, full hearts, and then we ride. All right, here we go. Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Anvil coming. No, oh, and you can hear the TNT go off. There's a lot going on. Oh gosh, here we go. Oh no, we got a problem. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> oh, it looks like we got some timings to play with. All right, cool. So that blew up a little too soon. I have no idea where my spawn is. That blew up a little too soon back here at my base. All right, cool. That's fine. I can grab some grab some carrots, grab some ender pearls to get back quickly. Yeah, if it blows up too soon, it's going to kill him. We don't want that. So I'm going to add a little delay to this guy. And uh, we'll try again. So let me get back there, add some delay, and we'll try it again. All right, I had to make a few modifications from the one that I did in my creative world, my test world in single player, because I, the TNT was dealing a little more damage than it was in that world for some reason. And so I had to back it off a little bit. And then it created a new problem where I was actually landing on the track. And then, so I decided, okay, go ahead and do that. Don't kill me, obviously. And then I'll just push him off the track onto those slime blocks. So let's go ahead and take a sleep just in case I do die. I can spawn back here. And uh, you can see during testing, I blew up a little bit. <laughs> I blew up during the testing. And uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was just playing with the timing. And... I think I got it. I think I got it. So we're going to go on a test run. I put the charges in, got the anvils in. This is going to be a full run. Pretend I am Doc. Go ahead, Doc. Get in the minecart. Everything will be just fine. Hits the button. Fire charges in his face. Boom. Up here. Oh, here comes the anvil. Oh, just missed. Not a good thing. And boom. And what happened? There I am. Two hearts. Oops. <laughs> I held shift. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Oh, I always make that mistake. But as you can see, as long as he doesn't hold shift like me, <laughs> he will be just fine, and I will smack him in the face with my sword, and he'll be he'll be done. <laughs> oh, don't shift when falling on slime blocks. Lesson learned. <laughs> Uh, all right, what do you say? One more, one more try this time. I'll, I'll hold. I won't do anything because I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him not to do anything. Let's see. Did I? There should have been a minecart. Oh, I bet it's up on the track. It's up on the track. We'll go make another one, and we'll do one more test run. I think I got enough fire charges in there for that. So it will be. It will be good. I'll try not to kill myself. And uh, we'll see, we'll see. All right, I got full health, obviously, because I just died. Got some anvils loaded. Here we go. Last run, don't hit the button. I'm just, hands are completely off my mouse. Well, I do want to spin around here so I can see the anvil in my face. And coming up here, and boom! <laughs> oh, there's that minecart. Oh, and there we go, not touching anything. Okay, so getting a little bit of hearts back. I think I might have to, I might have to hit him with a fairly decent sword then. Because uh, he does have about three hearts, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think my favorite part, actually, is the anvil launcher. 
I love that it just kind of goes flying right in front of his face. That is pretty sweet. So I think that's going to do it for the killing machine today, guys. Um, definitely took me a little bit longer than I anticipated to get this right, get the timings figured out for sure. Definitely a difference between server, uh, us building it on a server and building it in single player as far as timing is concerned. you got to deal with lag. and Who knows? You know, there might be lag when he plays it or gets on it for the ride that could actually cause him to die. I, I don't know. You know, it could happen. Um, so this is something to keep in mind. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on today. The episode's getting long, so I'm going to go real quick, dig out a couple branch mines now for my patrons. Actually, I'm not too far from the branch mine, um, so, but I don't have my fortune pick. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. Okay, woo! Um, so, yeah, I got my fortune pick. Let's go ahead and go dig some branch mines out for the patrons, and and then I guess we'll wait for, for Doc to try this thing out. <laughs> so, I can't wait. So, all right, time to go dig. All right, I am down here in my branch mine, ready to dig out a couple branches here. I'm gonna do two today, and the two I'm doing is for, the first one we'll do is for Cow Miles, and the second one we'll do is for B Strong in the Arm, I think is what his name is. Uh, so we'll do Cow Miles first, and you can see I got my Fortune 3 pick on me, I got my night vision, drink it up, cue the music, here we go. Alright, so the first branch, like I said, goes to Cow Miles, and that is at Cow Miles because he is on Twitter, on the Twitterverse. So if you want to go say congrats to Cow Miles and uh, thank him for being a patron of mine, go check him out. And but again, these branch mines were being very unforgiving. We got zero diamonds, zero lapis, got 14 gold, which was which was pretty nice. I mean, if I was playing UHC, I would have been really really happy with that. And also got 153 redstone. So there you go, Cow Miles. Check out check him out, guys. He's on Twitter at Cow Miles. There you go. Thanks again for your support on Patreon. And next next we have to do. Uh, is another branch for B Strong in the Arm. <laughs> like I said, I love that name. All right, so I am running low on night vision. I got to put away Cow Miles stuff here, and, and I'm just going to throw it in my very highly organized collection of junk. Actually, you know what? I promised I'd do, I'd do some of it. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Can't. Um... And do 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 do. All right, got one. I'll keep the sign on me because I'm gonna need it. Night vision. Gonna drop the night vision. And here we go. One last branch to do tonight, and that is for B strung in the arm down the hatch. Cue the music and go.
go. There it is again, guys. I don't know what the deal is, but we've got 14 gold again. <laughs> and this time we got 230 redstone. Again, no diamonds. Again, no lapis. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I hope his name fits. Strong in the arm. Whoo, that was a close one. All right, zero diamonds again. Oh, man. I, 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 I might... I'm, I've already made this a nice little branch mine. I don't want to have to go somewhere else. I mean, I just got to keep... Just got to keep my, my optimism about this, that eventually we're going to hit, like, some pretty nice diamond patches or something. But so far... Oh, this whole, all so, almost all of these have been a little bit of a letdown, obviously, when it comes to diamonds. I mean, zero diamonds. Um, oh, see, this way was nice. We were getting some diamonds uh, when we were going that way. No, zero, 11 that way. Yeah, and then over here we got zero. This one was good, four. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe when we keep going that way, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get luckier. I don't know. But anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. It was a little bit of a long one today. Um, you know, that, that killer machine took a little bit longer than I expected, like I said before. So, But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I really can't wait for Doc to check it out. And uh, guys, make sure that you're, you're following Doc and you're keeping your eye on hermitcraft.com for when his showcase video comes out of all the killing machines um, because he's going to put a... Uh, voting poll up on on uh, like straw poll or whatever and uh yeah i'd love it if you guys went and threw me a vote you know obviously do it fair judge it judge it you know if, if you like mumbo's better than mine or tango's or, or whoever's uh judge it fairly but if you like mine go drop me a vote i'd love to win this contest if possible um, so anyway, all right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe before you go. And with that said, I will see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.